Good morning, I'm Paul Reeder from Reeder Landscaping. I'm here with Nick Felice from Customer Service, and we're gonna talk about the Emerald Ash Borer today. We're right here in Midland, Michigan, and the Emerald Ash Borer, just a little history, originated in Southeast Michigan about 10 years ago. Currently, it's moved through over 20 states, and to give you a little bit of, about the magnitude of the damage that this pest could cause. Michigan has over 800 million ash trees by some estimates. Ohio, over 2 billion ash trees. Now, locally, the city of Bay City is in year two of a multi-year program to treat about 1,000 ash trees. The city of Midland is blessed with over 30,000 shade trees of all varieties within city limits and, and within their park system. So their approach is a little bit different. They're gonna treat some and remove probably more, okay? Now, um, if you have an ash tree in, in your yard and you're wondering, should I remove the tree? Should I plant a new tree or should I treat the tree? Here's a few considerations. Obviously, you've got the cost of removal. You've got the cost of a new tree. But more than that, um, <clears throat> a 40-year-old tree like the couple we're going to take a look at here. Um, they provide shade for the house and a cooling effect in the summer. They deflect a little wind at different times. And additionally, Michigan State says that an average eight inch diameter tree removes as much carbon dioxide from the air as a full size SUV driven by an average family of four. So, and even over and above that, you've got the beauty and elegance of a mature tree in your yard to consider. So Nick's been in tree and shrub and lawn for over 21 years, has extensive history, and he's gonna talk in more detail about what to look for and what your options are with your ash trees. Thank you, Paul. Um, perfect examples right here behind us. Uh, this is an ash tree that was treated last fall. Uh, basically minimal damage. Uh, a good rule of thumb uh, if you're deciding to treat your trees is if the canopy is 30 percent or more gone basically the tree needs to be removed uh, this specimen uh, looks to be about 15 to 20 percent has very few suckers moving up the side uh, it was a very effective application looks very well um, the plant right next door to it uh, if you notice has a bunch of what we call suckers starting out uh, also what we call shine marks. These are actually feeding sites from our Michigan woodpeckers. They enjoy this emerald ash borer larvae. Uh, and as you can see all the way up, it's pretty much just destroyed. Uh, this plant is not going to be on this landscape past this, this summer. <clears throat> Basically, these trees go from this, from the healthy stage to the declining stage in one season. We do have another specimen over here um, that basically was infected one year ago that uh, now basically could be construed as firewood. <laughs> um, now that I've kind of showed you what to look for, I'd like to show you our injection system. There's a couple varieties out there. Um, reader landscaping, we prefer to use the Wedgel system. Uh, it seems to do the least amount of damage to the plant and has a great uptake. Uh, if you'd like to follow me around, I'll actually show you the injection being done. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we use the Wedgel system at Reader Landscaping. This system is the least invasive and does the least amount of damage. Um, the first step is basically inserting the plug. Uh, basically a couple spins, you get a tap of white wood which gets us to the, you can, the cambium layer of the plant. Um, this material um, that I'm inserting as we speak is actually a long-term insecticide that is very effective against the emerald ash borer. It will also um, work against the, your tree drippings from scale, aphids, uh, any of the large trees in an area that are having issues with insects causing problems. Uh, it's a very cost effective and very functional way of saving your ash trees. They are not guaranteed they're going to die. Uh, the system has worked very effectively. We've had l less than 3% failure rate with it on the plant material that we've injected. Um, after inserting the plug, the needle is inserted directly into the cambium layer, backed out slightly, and depending on the size of the tree, two squirts, two milliliters on this size material, some may take up to four to six. Um, we do this injection every six inches all the way around the perimeter of the tree. Um, if you're interested in having your plants looked at, 
or consult uh, consultation on your plants, in particular your ash trees, please feel free to give us a call at Reader Landscaping. Ask for Nick, and I'll more than gladly come out and get you uh, a consultation on your plant material. Thank you. Have a great day.